steps away multiple times a day. Do you think that uh, this is one of the things that I felt from martial arts myself and then I've recognized in other people too, that there's something that happens when you start teaching where you get better? 100% because now you're like seeing all the details you never realized. Yeah. So you'll do a move, but then when you start teaching it, you'll notice, oh my God, wait, I'm doing this detail. And then now you're way more technical at the move and then you evolve with the move. Yeah. That helped me so much. There was a friend of mine uh, from my purple belt days, my friend Brent, and we used to always train together. We always had fun sessions, but I was like a little bit better than him. And then he started teaching. And then I hadn't rolled with him in like six months. And then I, I rolled with him. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like he immediately caught me in a Kimura and I fucked my elbow up, not tapping, trying to get out. Because I was like, he doesn't catch me like this. Like I'm going to get out of this. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm in fucking trouble. And then, but you know, I couldn't do chin ups for like two months afterwards. And I was like, God damn, you got so much better. What the fuck happened? He's like, dude, it's teaching. Teaching just got me so much better. Everything just got sharper and fine. Like, like he looked the same. That was the thing. It's not like he got in greater shape. Yeah. Like uh, to me, he was the same guy, but he wasn't the same guy. Like his pathways were very clear in his mind from position to position. And he probably got stronger, also, not physically, but just because he's so much more efficient with mm -hmm. how he's doing the positions. It makes you stronger. Right. Yeah, his leverage, I'm sure, was better. His understanding of the positions. And also, like, not not holding on when he's about to get reversed and abandoning positions and reestablishing control. Yeah. Like, his probably understanding of where the errors are, where things could go wrong, was a little bit more finely tuned. Yeah, and that's what I love about jiu-jitsu. Like, um, that's what's interesting. When I stopped lifting weights and doing conditioning, I actually got stronger in training because I started learning how to become more efficient with how I use my body. So Interesting. I, then people were like, wow, you got stronger. But I didn't get stronger. I just got more, I got more technical. That's interesting. So do you feel, though, that all of your muscles that you use in jiu-jitsu, like they get enough of a workout in doing just the various techniques that you really don't need to add anything? To exactly. I feel like it's a full body workout, right? So mm -hmm. we don't need to do extra things. I supplement it just with some light running, like for my nervous system, but I don't need to do anything more than that.